I'm on a mission to make Destiny's Forgotten Exotics usable, and today I'm using Sighton's Ramparts. Sightons are a Titan exotic that allows you to shoot through your towering barricade. It sounds pretty cool, but it does come at a cost. Let's get to the fit first. Sightons don't really stand out in terms of uniqueness, and the ornaments don't either, even though it has three. It has three? It's just a matter of finding some armor that matches the sharp look. So, Sightons. This exotic has been the bane of many Crucible players' existence, and as such, it has been nerfed time and time again. Today, Sighton still functions the same as it once did, only now the item manager description reads like a medical commercial with a laundry list of side effects. From reducing the total health of your barricade, to taking increased damage from players, having the duration of the barricade, and increasing the total cooldown time of the barricade. If all that seems a little harsh, it's because it is. Someone at Bungie obviously died one too many times at the hand of this exotic, and thus took the meat cleaver to it and made it what it is today. So, what's the best subclass to use with this exotic? Well, my first thought was Solar, with Scorch giving charge to your barricade. It becomes apparent quite quickly that it's just simply not enough. Sinjin gives faster recharge for your class ability on Scorch, with the keynote being faster recharge. This faster recharge competes with the native cooldown nerf Sightens gives. It's like trying to roll a boulder uphill. Instead of trying to counteract the extra recharge time, I instead opted for the workaround that being sources that give a set amount of ability energy. Think things like Fire Sprites and Stasis Shards, only for class abilities. That leaves me with Void Breaches on, of course, Void. Okay, so Void, with a bunch of orb-related mods and effects in order to try and make this work. So I go all in. I pull out the biggest, baddest weapon I can think of. The weapon that would single-handedly pull this whole setup together. Traveler's Chosen. What could be considered a forgotten weapon exotic, this little sidearm that could give stacks on takedowns, which you then consume for ability energy. This was it. I finally felt like I had my barricade back within a reasonable window of time. Now it was just a matter of trying it out to see how it played. My first concern was simply the range. Shooting through your barricade sounds like a passive playstyle to me, yet in order to actually use it with any regularity, I need to be in the fight, collecting any orbs and breaches I see, and getting as many kills with this sidearm as I can. But enough beating around the bush, here's the skinny on this exotic. We've already established that the extended cooldown time sucks. I mean, a full 10 stacks of travelers doesn't even get the whole barricade. Lame. I thought that maybe the extra fragility of the barricade would be annoying, but honestly, the only time I saw it go down from damage was when I was using it during the start of Ghost of the Deep, and like, four maws dogpiled it. Every other time, it was actually blocking a lot of damage. What was really killing me was the duration of the barricade. You'd think that going from 20 seconds to 10 wouldn't be that big of a deal, but no, it definitely was that big of a deal. This thing would almost always fall just short of what I needed. If it was 15 seconds, I probably wouldn't have minded, but down to 10, it just really sucks. So, is this exotic good? No, it's not. It's complete trash and I hate it. But I did kind of have fun when it worked. I certainly wouldn't take this thing into anything harder than what I did, that being a legend loss sector, a heroic nightfall, and a dungeon but it was kind of fun. Now that fun is broken up by a lot of hoops to jump through for just a measly 10 seconds of fun at a time, and that's only if you can get good use out of it, but there is fun there. I saw the fun. I experienced slight amounts of the fun. It is there, trust me. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this exotic, but if you're like me and are down for a bit of punishment, it's somewhat fun to try and get it to work. It's certainly a challenge, and it had me scouring every nook and cranny through these subclasses, looking for anything that would help me get this exotic off the ground. In the end, I think I found something somewhat coherent, but if you have your own spin on this exotic, let me know. Until next time, everyone.